welcome to this session. This session will continue to give further examples of different types of matrices. In the previous session, we gave uh, six different types of matrices. We defined what we call a row matrix, a column matrix, <coughs> a square matrix, a zero matrix, and then scalar matrix. But then just uh, some clarification. The last, uh, the last example we gave on scalar matrix, uh, let's just project it. This example, this, uh, this is a non-example. Uh, this non-example, please note that. This last, uh, this note, scalar matrix. Since all the elements along the main diagonal do not correspond to the same scalar. Remember, we defined a scalar matrix as is a diagonal matrix in which all, so this is the key thing, all the principal diagonal elements are equal to a scalar. So the key word is there is all the principal diagonal elements must be equal to a given scalar. So all those numbers must be the same. So therefore, that uh, that last example we give there doesn't uh, or doesn't satisfy that condition that all the elements on the main diagonal are equal. So please correct that. That this example here, this is not a scalar matrix since all the principal diagonal elements are not equal. Diagonal elements are not equal. So that's what this call for. So despite the fact that you can factor out 12, but you see this number and this number are not the same. So this is not an example of a scalar matrix. For us to make it an example of a scalar matrix, either we make this one 12 and this one to be 12 as it, or make this one 24 and make this one 24 so that all those numbers are the same. Please uh, correct that. So we can now just uh, give in summary uh, on scalar, scalar matrix. So we can say a matrix A is said to be scalar. A matrix A, which is equals to all the elements of A are of this form, and this is an n by n matrix, is A scalar matrix if this is a condition aij is equals to zero when i is not equals to j and is equals to k when i equals to j. So all the elements along the main diagonal must be equal to a scalar k or must have the same number. And then elements outside the main diagonal, all of them are zeros. And let's give number seven. Next type of matrix. This is what you call unit or identity 
matrix. Remember, unit and unity are different. So the unitary, unit and unitary are different. We define what unitary means. So unit is equivalent to identity. So this is a matrix. Is a square matrix. Whose all diagonal elements, all principal diagonal elements. are unity that means one and none principal diagonal and all none principal diagonal elements are zeros eg if we have one zero zero one or we can have one zero 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 one zero 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 one or we can have one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one so these are examples of unit or identity matrices number is what we call symmetric matrix. So when or what do we call asymmetric matrix? So asymmetric matrix is a matrix whose are which are which the same as its transport, uh, its, its transfers. So this is a square matrix. So the first thing that must be square, a square matrix. Which is equal to its transpose. So I A, a matrix A is symmetric if A is equals to A transpose. <coughs> so remember this is the notation for transpose. And just remember transpose of a matrix A is another matrix denoted by So you write a power t, or you write a prime, which is obtained after interchanging rows and columns 
of A, of the matrix A. So before we give examples of symmetric matrices, let's just uh, do some uh, basic examples on how to gauge transpose of a matrix. So for example, if we have a matrix A given by two, five, four, eight, then it implies that A transpose is the same as, so interchanging means that the first row becomes the first column. So the first row in this matrix is two, five. So we'll have, we write here two, five, come the first column. Second row is four, eight. So it becomes second column. And if we have a matrix B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then it implies B transpose is given by one, two, three becomes the first column. 4, 5, 6 becomes the second column, and 7, 8, 9 becomes the third column. And if I have another matrix C, 3, 0, 4, 3, 4, 8, minus 3, 2, minus one, three, I'll say 13. Let me make this one 23, seven, nine. Then the C transpose is, so three, zero, four, minus three becomes the first column. So three, zero, four, minus three. And then we have 23, 4, 8, 2 become the second column. Negative 1, 13, 7, 9 becomes the third column. So if you consider uh, the order of this matrix A is 2 by 2, each transpose is 2 by 2. This one is 1, 2, 3. So three rows, if, uh, then columns we have also <coughs> three. So this is a three by three matrix. This is still three by three matrix. This one, two, three, so three rows. One, two, three, four, four columns. So that's three by four. But here we have one, two, three, four rows. And here we have one, two, three, so three columns. And let's give another example. If we have D, given by three, two, four, one, five, six, then it implies that D transpose is, so this become the first column, three, two. This become the second column, four, one. This become the third column, five, six. Now I see we have here one, two, three, one, two. So this is three by two, but here we have one, two, and here we have one, two, three. And it is in general that if, like what you have seen in C and D, A is an M by N matrix, then A transpose is an, an N by M matrix. 
that simply means the rows of M, uh, the rows of A becomes now the column of A transpose, and the columns of A becomes the rows of A transpose. So that's how we understand the concept of uh, transpose. Now let's give now examples of symmetric matrices. Uh, symmetric matrices. Symmetric. matrices so <coughs> if i have a two by two a so what i just do i have to say let me if I say this is three and then i have this one is four i just have to ensure that this position and this position have the same number so if i put here two then i need to have here two so that if you are to get the transpose then three, two, so I have three, two, and then two, four, two, four. You see this A and A transpose are the same. Now, if I want a symmetric matrix of for the three by three, so let me say I fix this main diagonal, uh, two, four, say five. So the thing is that what I have here should be the same thing as here. So if I put say here negative two, so this will also be negative two. And then this position and this position should be the same. So if I fix here, say six, this must also be six. And if I put here zero, then this must also be zero. So that if I have to get the transpose of this matrix, two minus two, zero is the first row, so it becomes my first column. So I write two minus two, zero. And then minus two, four, six is my second row. So it becomes my second column. And zero, six, five is my third row. So it becomes my third column. And you see B and B transpose are equal. Other examples of symmetric matrices, if I have C given by three, two, one, one minus four, zero, one, zero, five. These are symmetric matrices because if you are to get the, tran uh, the transpose of this matrix C, then we'll have the first row is three to one, so it becomes our first column. Second row is one minus four, zero, becomes our second. So this should be this uh this uh this would be this would be two. Let's see this would be two. So this would be two. For that to be symmetric, that position should be, uh, this position should have the same element. So this must be two, not one as it was written before. So this. So this will be, this should be two, so that C transpose will be three, two, one is the first column, so it becomes my first row. So three, two, one. Two minus four, zero. Two minus four, zero. One, zero, five. One, zero, five. So C equals to C transpose, so that is symmetric. And if I have D given by zero, one, minus two, one, three, zero, and then minus two, zero, five, 
you should check that this is also the same as its transpose. And if I have a matrix E given by four, eight, eight, minus three, this matrix is also symmetric because it is equivalent to its transpose. So that's how we define uh, symmetric matrix. Next session, we define what we call skew symmetric matrix, triangular matrix, and orthogonal matrix. Thank you.